It's following us. There's there's a car there's a car behind us right now. Because the road's out this way. Oh damn. Bro, he's wait, what the hell? He's really quick. Dude! Jay! Jay! What? Yo, that's the house right there. That's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. The light just turned on. What the? Like somebody that did that or a security thing? I don't know. I know somebody just turned that light on. Yo, there's a car coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what, what the? Oh, what? What happened? Dude, it just disappeared. Unless it's up there and it turned its lights off. Well, if they did, that's the cops trying to observe us. Let's go up there real quick. Alright, we will. It's really windy. Now, we wanted to come here and do like a nighttime video in front of the Chainsaw Massacre house. I'm trying to figure out how there was a car coming this way and it just disappeared. Okay. No, no, no. This is another car. Wait, what? This is not even a car. That's like a big truck. Okay, so this is really weird, fam. Omar just seen a car and all of a sudden it literally disappeared. Well, or its lights turned yeah, off. maybe they're up there and they just turned their so lights I off. Thought that's the cops, but unless there's something crazy going on. Yeah, we can go flying past. Oh shoot! What if they? Uh, what if they stop? No. What if they turn into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house? Oh, that would suck. Oh, is that an ambulance? That's an ambulance. What the heck? What is going on? It's turning around. Oh, it's turning back around. It's coming back towards us. It's coming back towards us. Dude, what the? Get in the car, get in the car, just in case. Just get in the car. I thought an ambulance was gonna pull in there. That's what I thought. Why would it? Why would it go down there and turn around? And like, Please don't stop. No, it's, it's going past us. Bro, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It literally went there, went by the road, and then turned around. Maybe they got a call? Then why did they leave? I don't... Yeah, they didn't have their lights on. Maybe they're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. <laughs> I mean, but they, they, they live here. I mean, they work here. That was weird, bro. You want to drive by there again? I still want to know what happened with the, the, the vehicle you saw and then just disappeared and the lights went off. I'm going to drive up just a little yeah. bit because there was a vehicle that was coming towards us. And it just it just vanished. Maybe that ambulance was for that vehicle. What if cops had the ambulance drive up just to see what was going on so it didn't spook anybody away? Because it literally makes no sense why it went there and just turned around. Now, in case you never heard of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's based off of a true story, but it didn't happen in Texas. It actually happened in Wisconsin by a gentleman by the name of Ed Gein in 1957 the real leather face brutally like murdered this woman right and he took her face sure, off he took her chest off very graphic you could read yeah. up on it i'm not gonna get yeah too much into it there's no car up here by the way and he wore it like yeah he wore it on his, and over his body so it was kind of similar to the leather face thing where he wore like a human face dude this really is the middle of nowhere really? just like the the movie Oh, there's a car coming out of there. Wait, what? Oh, no. There, oh. Yeah, I swear. I'm going to turn the light off. Maybe they're going to come down and see I what hope not. I hope so. Maybe we can talk to them. There's a couple cars coming out of there. Oh, dude, what? Dude, I hope they're not going to try to, like, hunt, hunt bro, us down or something. Do stop, bro. Maybe we can no. talk to them. What are you talking about? A lot of people come through here. They do not do tours. Yeah. That's exactly Oh, a car's coming now. I hope we're not getting gonna get followed or something. Uh, huh. Bro, this is weird, dude. Yeah, it is. Oh, please don't come this way. It's following us. There's there's a car there's a car behind us right now. Because the road's out this way. Oh damn. Uh, I hope it doesn't speed up and try to block us in. Following us, dude. 
Dude, we're being followed. I think we should just go home. Bro, this I'm is... having a good time. No, 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 dude. I ain't trying. Look, now they're the following weed, us. Bro, so what? This is cool. No, it's not cool. Let's get to Texas Teens on Best Crowds. No, dude. I don't want to get massacred tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hell no, oh, dude. Man. We're being followed right now. This we're, is two ends of the spectrum right now. We guys. probably just spook these people out, man. They're probably just want. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to. Like, like. I see what you're saying. Man. Yeah, there's the house right here. Oh yeah, they totally turned around though. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't slow down, man. Oh, laser. Bro, so do they literally just like anytime a car comes here, like? I they're, think. They're all I mean, maybe. Like yeah. I wanted to interact and see, like, what the. You know. Well, I'll drop you off. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell me off right here. I'm down. Let's see what they do. So let's go up here. At least go up here and stop and see what happens. Bro, I ain't trying to get like shot. Bro, they're not <laughs> gonna shoot us. Nah, bro, bro, I ain't. I ain't trying to take that chance. Oh, don't get scared. Come on, bro. Tell me off right here. Hell no. Oh, he's still coming, bro. Ah. Uh, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Yet. Just wait. Wait. The rest of this footage will be on the uh, phone. What the heck? Oh, oh. Alright. Oh, he's, wait, what the hell? He's really putting his knife on us. Oh, he's totally following us. He's turning back around. It's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. It, Don't go visit it. It's gated it off. I mean, I read online that you're allowed to go in front and take pictures. People right. actually go right in front and That's take pictures why I didn't at think the gate. Like, you know, like, you know, like, people come to, like, YouTubers' house and celebrities that's kind of messed up. This is different. It's bro. a road. It was this just a road. Right. This yeah. is a public, uh, a famous But, I mean, it is park. nighttime. It's not super late. And we didn't get down and take any pictures bro, in front of the really gate. We didn't get out of the car. No. I, you know what I'm thinking is, okay, so that ambulance came through. Right. They were probably fans or something. I don't uh, think, I don't I don't know because they so why would they do that? Maybe I'm telling you, I'm I'm thinking it was fans, but maybe they they seen us, and then or maybe they called the ambulance. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that, but that was really it was really spooky. That was really weird, bro. Especially where we were at. Like I was I was freaking out, like Omar was too. But I was excited, freaking out. Like I was down for it. I wanted. It wasn't a it wasn't a private road. That's that's a public road. Yep. Because a couple of people do own property on that road. That other road, their road was a private road. That went that went in there. Was yeah. Paid. That's a private road, but yeah. No, but I mean, bro, wasn't we weren't there breaking the wall down that road though? Um, I it, I it looked like mailboxes. it looked like there was a few mailboxes down the road. Yeah, so, where we turned around. So weird. Imagine if we were gonna do what we were talking about doing. We were gonna walk. Like just park at the I wish entrance. Did now, yeah, that would have been scary as hell. You want to go back? Bro, I was you want to so go back? back. You yes. Go back? Yes. You want to go back? I'm no, so I don't down. know. I, I, Dude, I'm down. Bro. Oh. oh, I'm so down for that. Oh, I'm so <laughs> down for that. Oh my god. I didn't notice this is a cotton field oh, right next it? to us. Yeah, and that must be a cornfield. Oh, they're all chopped down though. Yeah. I'd be down there like walk through it if it was like that. It looks like they remodeled the house. So I'm trying to compare what the house looks like to what it looked like then. And pretty similar. James, what are you doing? You're probably technically trespassing right now. Look at all those cameras. Looks like somebody tried to break in over here. Yo, I hear that there's a slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse that was in the movie. And I think I know where it's at. You want to go explore it? Maybe some information forms that you can grab here. Looks like there's a paper in, in here. Uh piece of paper with a hole in the middle it's kind of weird check this out they this is an electric fence i swear dude like do not try to uh you want to find out are you serious bro that's electrical well i'm gonna pee on it 
Well, I don't want to, you know, like maybe that's a bad idea. Yeah, no, if you pee on it, you'll get electrocuted. Think so? Yeah, because it's like connected to your, never mind. All of these fences are electric. Just, if you come to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, come snap a picture. I would highly recommend not coming at nighttime. It's kind of cool. It's like their own little gated community. Why don't you um, go knock on the door? Beware of the dog. Now, I haven't seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie in a really long time. I remember there being a windmill in the movie. Yeah. I'm wondering if this was the windmill. There's also like this strange dilapidated shack off to the side. And I, I can't remember that being in the movie. I legit thought it was maybe like a family compound. There are some houses in the back back there. If I had my drone, I'd do a like a far away flyover. I mean, nothing like over their houses or anything like that. You always want to be respectful. And they do not offer tours of the Chainsaw Massacre house. If they happen to come across this video, I do want to uh, tell them my apologies for spooking them out last night. I'm thinking a, a mixture of me coming and doing a pass or two and then that ambulance that pulled out front that were probably fans too. It probably got their attention and they came out and wanted to investigate. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody out there like, if you're out in front of my house, I'm gonna come out and shoot you. You don't wanna shoot somebody being on a public road, okay? I don't know what the laws here are in Texas. I think that's common sense. I mean, if I'm on their property trespassing, might be a different story, but being on a public road, which that's where we were. I can't just be shooting people for being on a public road and maybe taking pictures. I gotta go back and watch this movie. Oh, 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 dude. What happened? Bro, you were serious about the- uh... Bro, did you touch that wire? What did you do that for? I thought you were freaking joking like you have been all trip, bro. I mean, I wasn't 100% sure. But why would you touch it, though? Oh, sh Bro, quit messing around, man. Are you messing around with me? James! James, bro! Yeah, what's the matter, bro? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were around, you Bro, and I set my camera up over <laughs> there, and I have this camera. Oh, I don't know. Dude, what the hell? Okay, James did not touch the wire. I thought you really did touch it. <laughs> oh man, he got us. I thought you got shot or something. I'm here talking about guns. Oh, watch that hole. <laughs> All right, fam, so we just made it to the slaughterhouse, a real slaughterhouse. James is going inside right now to see if they will give us permission. We're gonna try to go inside this active slaughterhouse. All right, hopefully James got some good news for us here. Said 500 bucks, but we'd get an hour. $500? No, I'm just kidding, it's a health code thing. They can't, they can't do it. Okay, we yeah. can't go inside? Uh -huh. and, uh, around it. We can go around the back and you can see inside from the back. Well, what said. the hell are we waiting for? One thing that's a little disappointing when it comes to movie sets is they rip them down. They're usually temporary structures. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, by the way, we're referring to the remake, the actual second movie, that was made in 2003. It's a lot of wind here. I did not know this, but there was a 1974 version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I had no idea. That's kind of the angle that they used in the movie, and there was a wooded area right here. They didn't show that there was an interstate. I think Jessica Beale's like kind of running over here. She goes back into that area where they bring in like the cows or bulls or whatever, and she's being chased and being chased. Leatherface is right behind her. Oh, here's a butcher right here. Maybe they're waiting for a delivery or a pickup. I wanna give a huge shout out to the Taylor Meat Company for giving us access to the property. Although we can't go inside, at least we're able to kind of tour the outside. It did show some of these parts in the movie. Would have let us go inside, you know, with coronavirus and everything going on. I guess it's like a health code thing. So, oh, I remember that in the movie. And I haven't seen the movie in such a long time. Yeah, there is no cows back there, any kind of animals. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.